Well, here we are. Hi, I'm Janet, the Plant Powered Peddler, down 87 pounds, doing uh, sofas free, sugar, oil, flour, alcohol, and almost salt free um, whole food plant exclusive. So I am just getting started here. <laughs> I was going to try to figure out how to get my phone to come in here too, so I can show you more of what I'm cooking, but I'm going to try to do it this way. I'm doing Chef AJ's best no bean burger, and I've got all my fixings, and I noticed today that I have to, I have to prepare it all, and then I have to refrigerate it. So, this is part one. I'm going to put it all together and then tomorrow I'll actually make the burgers, um, you know, bake them and then I'll, I'll freeze them. And this makes quite a few burgers. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, it'll be fun and we'll have plenty of burgers to keep us in burgers. So the first thing I'm going to do is some onion. I've got my, I've got my, pan heating up here on the stove and and I cut it chopped up a, a cup of onions and it's sizzling away already it doesn't take long and I'll just go ahead and put the top on to keep the moisture in a little bit I just released my video from Monday that was on Zoom, so I, I uh, you know, shortened it up quite a bit and stuck it on for the Mexicali rice, the tostada mixture, the uh, chorizo mixture, and the um, chili lime slaw, and the corn salsa, and that was good. Last night, I actually stuffed some uh, rice paper wraps, rolls, Rice papers, the round, these guys um, with the Mexicali rice and the chirozo, chorizo, and that was fun. So never a dull moment when you're when you're playing with plants because there's all kinds of things you can do with them. All right, let me grab a spatula. And we'll get this onion cooked up. I've got a can of sun-dried or uh, diced tomatoes, and I'll use the liquid to cook everything in. And then I'll use the tomatoes. Oh, hi, Jean. Sounds like you and Waffle had quite a nice walk this morning. I'm just cooking up the onions here. I got everything chopped and ready to go. let those onions cook <laughs> feeling the walk yeah I do too after I done I after I have done it but we got ours in this morning a little bit of yoga and I just feel like I'm moving a little bit slower today <laughs> nothing wrong with that See if I can get a little bit more liquid out here in case I need it. I'm supposed to use whole tomatoes, but I just had one can of diced tomatoes left. I've got a bunch more ordered, but uh, I, I thought I had a whole other little case of them, but I didn't. Yeah, I walked this morning, every morning. I get up, sit on the cushion, 
either do my workout or a little yoga and then I walk and then I start the rest of the day with my celery juice and then the, um, you know, some breakfast vegetables and fruit and heavy metal detox with usually some oat groats. I am definitely a creature of habit. At least on that front. So I've got this on just medium heat. Just let them go a little bit more. What's the harm? So, no, I'm not drinking it. Yeah, I'm, I'm mixing it with some more fruit and groats, and I do a third of it a day. And I did, and I start out with a little bit in my cereal, and then I have the rest of it in the refrigerator, and I just eat it during the day whenever I need a snack. So I have it all throughout the day, actually, Jean. How about you? We're getting into a little bit of mischief. We just we just ordered an inflatable hot tub, two man hot tub. We're gonna put it on our deck. So the pad comes today, and the tub comes tomorrow, and it's just a one ten. So it takes it a little while to heat up, like maybe a day, day and a half. So that's gonna be exciting. Oh, you drink the whole thing, but you make it later in the day, anyways, at the end of your day. So. And it seems like it's more your dinner. So I would imagine you're, you're hungry for it. All right. This is looking good. So now I'm going to add a bunch of garlic. Eight cloves of garlic, which I love. Lots of people are getting hot tubs. Well, you know, we have talked about it since we met 35 years ago. <laughs> so we're a little bit slow on the uptake. But these inflatable ones, it makes it really affordable just to try it and see if we like it and see if we'll, you know, keep up with the maintenance and everything. And um, gosh, and then we went down to the, Stephen went down to the local hot tub place and the cheapest one, the most, you know, we don't need any frills, but they all have all these frills, which we don't need. We didn't get the one from Costco. We went ahead and got it from Amazon. Um, I might have if Costco, our Costco had them on the floor right now, but they don't. So the one from Amazon, you know, comes in a couple days. So we're just going to go with that one. And I talked to my electrician and he's got one. He said he they got one just to use while they built their house, and they like it so much they're just staying with it. So, you know, of course the the concern is the the chemicals, but we're we're gonna try it and see because we don't have a tub in the house, and I don't want to just get a bathtub because they lose their heat so fast. And apparently these inflatables don't keep the heat for a real long time, but gee, you know, even for 40, 45 minutes, I think that would be good for me. I'd take that. So I added in here uh, pepper, carrot, and garlic. I'm just gonna cook that up. Saute until soft, about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm going to combine it with everything else in the big, I've got a big bowl ready. So it's going to be a roll up my sleeves, get it all mixed up. Inflatable, it comes with a pump. And so it'll inflate itself up the first time anyway. Because <laughs> they're a pretty good size. I mean, this one says it fits four, but it doesn't really. I mean, it would have to be 
two adults and, and two, you know, small children. So, yeah, there's three kinds of hot tubs. There's the in-ground, the portable, hard shell, and the inflatable. And we're getting the inflatable. And it used to be you could get a portable for hard shell for a couple thousand, but it's a, you know, even a two-man was six thousand dollars and they want to you know give you all kinds of jets and lighting and bluetooth and we just don't need all that we just want to sit and look at the stars at night and 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 you know have heat so we'll try this and we'll see i know my sister will love it because she doesn't have a tub she she really misses it so I never used a tub, so I didn't have to put one in. And, and of course, now that I don't have one, I kind of crave soaking in the in the hot water. But it's losing all the weight too, and not being warm all the time. Before I was hot all the time, and now I'm I'm cold all the time. Not not so much anymore. But but this B12 seems to be breaking out. You know, I get all broken out on my nose and my cheeks and my forehead. So I I see that you can get. Uh, acne or whatever they call it. Hey, tennis and yoga girl with B12. But the ingredients so far are red onion and I'm cooking it in the juice from the diced tomatoes. Um, carrot, carrot, um, uh, pepper, bell pepper, and garlic. And I've got all the other ingredients ready to go. I'm just getting these cooked until they're soft. And I'm making Chef AJ's no bean burger. She calls them the best no bean burgers. Gonna be yummy. Okay. Sip. Let's just let it cook. Let it cook until it's soft. So I was very sh short on Instagram this morning. I just didn't have anything to say. Just one of those days. And nobody was around. So I'm just amazed that March is almost over. Can you believe it? Can you believe it's going to be Easter on Sunday? <laughs> I don't know where the time goes. The first quarter of 2024 is, is used up. <laughs> it's going too fast. It's so nice. It was pouring this morning, but now it's it looks like it's cleared up. So maybe that's it for the day. So over here, actually, we can start throwing this stuff together. I have uh, I was short a little bit of black rice, so I just put brown rice in there. And I'm just gonna put everything in this pan. So I'll just dump that in there. And then I've got the Hannah yams. So there's four cups of rice, four cups of yams. And that's going to make the recipe. And Jean, you were asking about the beans, but I can add, you know, I can have beans on the side. I don't have to have them in the burger. So I'm sure, you know, I could, I could have hummus as a spread and that would take care of my beans. So instead of ketchup and mustard, you know, I could put hummus on my burger. But I just wanted to try these to see what they were like. And then I'm going to toss in my tomatoes. And I've got some cilantro. Some nutritional yeast. I didn't use all that she uses. And spices, which is a bunch of chili, um, smoked paprika, cumin. Like this. Okay. 
Right, let's see what's going on over here. That looks good. I think we got her here. Steven sharpening my lawnmower blade. What do you think, Steven? Is it too trashed? Oh, there's something that's not right here. Oh. When, when you're done there, we can go ahead and help me with it. Okay. He's been putting up a fence around the garden. He's got so many projects. He's got a, a honey-do list a mile long. Hmm. Yes, Jean, I, I noticed you chatted with me while we wa while you walked. That was fun. You're frying a tortilla pinto, pinto, with pinto beans, pico de ga gaia, corn, and lettuce. That would be good. And you've got your lawnmower back from sharpening this morning. Good. Yeah, it's kind of funny. We were doing it at the same time, Jean. But it is that time of year, isn't it? And we need a nice sharp blade to start making some beautiful lawn with. Okay, so I'm going to add this. We've got some burger mixture, Stephen. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to stick it in the fridge for overnight. And then mix, put them together tomorrow. All right. Oh, you're going to mow tomorrow. That's amazing, Jean, that you just had that big storm and you're already going to be mowing tomorrow. That's Colorado for you. This looks really good, doesn't it? Very colorful. I think it's going to be a little too hot for me to stick my hands in there though well I'll put gloves on well, let's see what I got here I can find my gloves I get Steven's gloves there. We, his hands are huge. And they'll never work. But I think I got mine. How do you spell course? C O U R S E. You mean like a like a course that you take in school? No. Oh, what do you mean? A course file. Oh, C O A R S E. C O A. Yeah. All right. Get this pointing back. Oh, so your front yard still got snow, but your back here gets the sun. That's funny that there's snow in the front, but green in the back. All right. Oh, this is going to be good. Very good. I'm going to try to get it in a smaller container to put it in the refrigerator. I don't see why not. It just needs a big container to mix it all with. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? There it is. Yum. <laughs> so that went together pretty 
pretty smoothly. All right, get these gloves off. You can't hear me if I if I walk away from the computer front. So I'm trying to be better about that. It really helps when I have to edit a video because I learn more about how things are coming across before it goes out. All right. So this will go into a container and then I have to start watching YouTubes about how to set up a uh, inflatable hot tub. <laughs> On to the next thing. So thank you for coming in and, and watching, joining me today. And tomorrow I'll be making burgers. So I'm not exactly sure what time it'll be, but it might be at similar time at noon if I can... Um, if I can get, get it together, it shouldn't, you know, it's just pulling it out of the refrigerator and making burgers out of it and sticking them in the oven. So that shouldn't be too hard. That should be the easy part. <laughs> so hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>